That was a weird game. I think we can all agree. That was a really odd game. All right. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody? Good morning. Welcome. It's Thursday. We're getting our way through the week here and we are jumping into some mono white aggro today. Before we jump into the deck though, I just want to do a quick reminder. If you're not already, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. If you like the video, like the video. If you've got a better version of this list, share it in the comment section. I would love to see what you guys have to, to build around. This list is mono white aggro. This is one that we have taken. This is not one of our own. Uh, there are a number of different versions of this list but this one kind of caught my eye uh, and I believe I if I'm not mistaken it was MTG Arena Zone that I, I uh, pulled this from uh, so credit where credit is due I didn't create it but uh, it is actually very very good we've tested this one a decent amount uh, and we found some cards that we really like so uh, to start in the one drop slot we've got Chaplain of Alms a nice little 1-1 one, one with first strike, but it has ward 1, which just means any targeted removal is going to cost a little bit extra, uh, which can slow the opponent down. And then, of course, it does have Disturb, which is a brand new mechanic from Innistrad, being able to bring this back. So we've got a kind of a two for one value off of it immediately. Uh, Homestead Courage, a really nice little uh, sorcery here. It is sorcery speed. We do have to remember that we can't instant speed this, but for one mana, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on something and then it also gains vigilance until the end of the turn. The crucial thing here, though, is that flashback. We're able to replay this later on. You'll see that as kind of a common theme here is we get a little bit of extra value from every little thing. Uh, Monk of the Open Hand, obviously one of the best one drops. Just a nice little 1-1 one, one for one that anytime you cast a second spell, it's going to get a little stronger. In a deck like White Weenie or White Aggro, it's very, very easy to make this uh, pretty big, honestly. Uh, and so very happy to have that here. We've got two Paladin classes, obviously not um, a creature, uh, so it's not quite as aggressive generally. But once you get to that level two, you're really, really buffing up a big board here. Uh, and then on top of that, if you can get to level three, in fact, you're really really hopefully kind of solidifying the game at that point uh but it does slow the opponent down as well which is really nice uh clarion spirit another classic kaldheim card now uh we've seen this really capitalizing on second spells uh same with the monk it's just a really nice way to spread the board out a little bit hopefully get even more value off of things like paladin class as well as uh intrepid adversary so Another new card uh, from Innistrad, a 3-1 with lifelink for two that you can pay a couple extra mana as many times as you can uh, and buff up the board as well as the intrepid adversary, or excuse me, just buff up the board uh, that for as many valor counters that are on uh, the intrepid adversary. This is a really, really good anthem effect. Uh, it comes on a creature, which is fantastic. It does make it easier to remove, but uh, between this and paladin class, we're really, really buffing things up. Uh, Luminarch Aspirant, been here again for quite a while, but throwing those 1-1 one -one counters around can be very helpful, especially with things like the Clarion Spirit or Elite Spellbinder, which have flying. Uh, these are able to hopefully punch through some damage with a lot of the ground decks that we're seeing right now. Uh, and of course, Elite Spellbinder just being able to kind of slow the opponent down. Skyclave Apparition is here for a little bit of onboard removal, just to sweep things up as we go forward with our attacks. Uh, really, really nice card. Uh, Adeline Resplendent Cathar, a new card uh, from Innistrad, one that we haven't seen a ton of. Uh, but it is an X4 uh, for three mana with Vigilance. It's equal to the number of creatures you control, which ideally is going to be a good bit. Uh, and then whenever it attacks, you it actually spits out another 1-1 one, one that's going to be attacking with it. So it can really buff itself up uh, long term with that. Search Party Captain is in here. The idea of this deck is to be attacking. Ideally, we can get this down to one mana pretty quickly and pretty easily, and that's going to draw us a card later on. Now, this isn't a card that I've seen in a number of other lists, but uh, I really like this card. I, again, in testing, I've really enjoyed this one. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. For some tech in the lands, we do have Faceless Haven plus Cave of the Frost Dragon. Seems a little heavy on the Faceless Havens to me, but again, 
we really don't need that many lands to make this deck work so i'm kind of okay with it but we are going to send this through uh we're going to see how many games we can get in in roughly 20 to 30 minutes hopefully have a fun time and hopefully get some wins so let's go ahead guys let's jump into game one all right guys here we are for game number one and uh yeah this is a pretty easy keep i mean we've got the snow covered planes we've got two of them that's really the most i mean we need more but that really is enough to get us going here we've got the chaplain we've also got clarion spirit or intrepid adversary coming down later i like this hand this is pretty solid let's see if we can make it work it looks like snow covered forest from the opponent uh which could very well mean a number of different things so we're gonna wait and see obviously uh, if then if there are three more creatures, transform it. At the beginning, you may exile a card from a graveyard. That's an interesting little card. I haven't actually seen this card before. I mean, I know it exists, but I just haven't really seen it. Um, but the first strike here should hold them off unless they have a kill spell, which seems a little aggressive to be doing that now, but hey, maybe they, they want to. Um, let's go ahead and throw out that Clarion Spirit. Uh, now the question is, do we attack in here? I think we easily can. Um, they do leave up a mana here, though. So do we want to risk it? Uh, I think it's OK to if they if they trade for a like snakeskin veil or something along those lines. One, it gets it out of hand, which just means Skyclave Apparition can come down. Sure. Uh, but two, we can actually just replay this later. So I'm OK with it. That's fine. Uh, it's not great for us, obviously, but it's not the end of the world um they are looking to stack their graveyard up here i'm assuming wow we got two blizzard brawls and a snakeskin veil uh out of that that's pretty good all right they're gonna fight off here that's fine uh obviously get some attacks in curious to see what they might have here a uh, little worried about that to be honest so the question becomes do we uh let's see is this, uh, okay, at the beginning of your upkeep. Interesting. All right, uh, let's, mm, let's shoot for this. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, it may not. Oh, it does. Wow. Okay. Didn't fully expect that, to be honest, uh, but I'm very happy that that worked. I fully expected them to have another, like, protection style spell. Um, great they didn't. <clears throat> This seems like a really odd creature to bank your entire deck upon, but hey, that's fine. There's Toski. Toski is kind of an annoying card, but uh, not the end of the world, actually, so that's kind of okay. Let's do this. Uh, and let's do this. We're going to spread things out here. This is going to get us a nice little 1 1 flyer. Uh, not going to attack here. We're going to let things slide for the moment. Uh, if we can get another land, that'll get that Intrepid Adversary down with an extra activation, which just seems perfect uh, for us. So let's see what they're going to do here. Um, interesting. All right, so let's do this. And I think, uh, honestly, the, the play is this. I want to leave that Clarion Spirit here as best we can. Why did they? That was a weird, that was a weird game. I think we can all agree. That was a really odd game. All right, uh, let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. <clears throat> um, this is an interesting one. I don't love it. Uh, it's very, very slow. I actually think we... Mm, do we bank on the fact that we might draw stuff? Uh, and we do have a Paladin class early, which is nice. Dude, we're going to try it. This is such a bad keep. You should never keep this. I, I feel like this seems very, very wrong to me. But you know what? We're here to have a good time. Uh, one thing I want to note, uh, one person one person watched the, uh, uh, the, the werewolves build that we did uh, and was not upset by any means, but they very kindly pointed out that there are a lot of other really good options for that deck. They're not wrong, uh, let me just say. But I, I think I stressed that in the video as well. I just wanted to remind everybody that especially when there's a new rotation like this, we just try things out. Uh, that's really important in my opinion. And so uh, a lot of what we have done at this point is just to try a bunch of different stuff just to see if things work, uh, hopefully have some fun doing it, and hopefully find some things that really do work. But the idea is not necessarily to have the perfect deck right off the bat. Uh, it's very much to, to just have some fun and see what we can do. Um, all right. Uh, so I'm assuming that's a kill spell. Uh, it seems right. Um, let's see. 
Well, I mean, I think the play first and foremost is just to attack in here. Um, seems pretty straightforward. I think we just play these two chaplains out. Uh, and then that gives them two things that they probably can only deal with one of, and theoretically we can just keep the, the damage race going. We're also gaining a lot of life off of that adversary, so we're kind of in great shape here. Um, now, they might have a way to deal with all this at once. I kind of doubt it, given that they're playing a Lunark veteran, but maybe they are. Maybe they're playing a sweeper and they just disturb things back. I, I don't know, but we're going to see. Uh, regardless if they do or not, we actually get to bring some stuff back here as well, so that's kind of fine. Alright, so they are going to have that kill spell. The Poison the Cup is going to take out the adversary. Uh, that's fine. It's not the... I mean, it's not good for us, but it's not the end of the world either. Um, we certainly got a lot of damage off with it, and... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to block here. Gets that off the field. It just guarantees us that we're going to be able to get in for an attack. Uh, let's play that. Let's play this. Uh, throwing some counters around and getting a lot of damage off. And now we've got a, a very good little threat on board uh, assessment for them to have to deal with here. Okay, they're going to Vanishing Verse that. That's very solid. Uh, makes a lot of sense, but I think... I think we're still in pretty good shape here. Now, they do gain some life from that. That's very, very good. Um... We're going to double up again, because uh, we can. Let's do this. Um, to put it here. It's going to give us another little flyer here. And there we go. We got it. That was beautiful. That was about as amazing as it could have gone. Again, don't ever keep a hand like that. Uh, but it worked out. So let's move on to our next game. All right, guys. Here we are for our third game, I believe. Uh, so far, doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty easy keep. Um, it's a little land heavy, of course, but we don't have too many lands in the deck, so I would expect that the majority of our draws at this point then uh, won't necessarily be that. So that's a positive. Um, what is the best turn two play here? It might be just Clarion Spirit. We've got two of them. Um, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're going to try and really capitalize here. Granted, this is a black deck, obviously, that we are up against, so removal will probably be uh, imminent here, but they are going to have to pay an extra, which is quite nice. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to take advantage of the Clarion Spirit over the Monk, I think, at this point. So what we're going to do is throw that out, throw this out, which is going to trigger both of these. <laughs> Uh, and now we have got a pretty substantial board on turn three. We've got five creatures and a paladin class out all on turn three. That seems pretty good. Um, now, this is a very interesting little card here. Uh, create a treasure token. They can sack a creature or a treasure to draw a card. They do have to pay a couple mana to do it. Uh, there's the Renan 7. Fully expected that to come down at some point here. Curious to see if they just create the token. No, looks like they do not. And they whiff, uh, it looks like, which is fantastic for us. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so I think the play is pretty clear. Uh, I think we just do this. Um, send both of these here and both of these here. We just get rid of the, the Renin 7 here. Uh, we're going to leave up the Monk for the time being. Uh, they've got no mana to do anything with, and we should be able to then just take this thing out. Fantastic. So, Ren and Seven down. Uh, that is a very substantial threat for us. If it spits out that token, uh, it's very difficult for us to deal with it. Um, there's a Sika's Chariot. Sure. A great card, for sure. Um, but again, we should be in decent shape here. Uh, let's get that Faceless Haven down. Okay, um, I mean, that seems very good. Uh, we can't do too many multiple things here, but uh, what we could do is just throw out the Luminarch Aspirant, then the Homestead Courage. I kind of like that play. Um, let's throw the counter. Uh, hmm. Let's throw it here. Let's make this thing as about as big as we can make it. Uh, we're also going to get two more 2-2s, uh, which seems good. 
We can actually just play this again. Uh, let's throw it here. We're gonna build up the ground units as best we can here. Uh, we do have to keep in mind they can obviously block here, but they give up. We did it. Oh my gosh, this deck is amazing. All right, uh, <laughs> wow, we're doing really well. Let's jump into a, a fourth game. It's only, we're like 15 minutes in. We got plenty of time. All right, guys, here we are. This is our fourth game, uh, as I recall. Now, this is a bit of a slow hand. It is a very good reactive hand, so depending on who, what we are up against, this could be quite good. Again, a risky keep, probably not the right play, but we're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. No turn one play is a little sad, though, for a mono white build, so this may not work out. Oh, no. All right. Uh, well, we can get a Clarion Spirit down, so let's go ahead and jump uh, on that opportunity. Honestly, like a Homestead Courage would be great right now. We can Clarion Spirit and then drop one. Uh, that would be really nice. A land would be a good draw. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, we just play a Clarion Spirit and pass. <laughs> uh, a land would be fantastic. Uh, we can get rid of this little token. Um, yeah, or honestly, non-land, non-token permanent. So we could even just take out the Ranger class. Um, Skyclave Apparition is really good at dealing with the classes. It's a, it's a pretty solid little card. I like it. All right, there's the Sparring Regimen. They're gonna go ahead and learn. Let's see what they pull. All right, environmental sciences, sure. Makes a lot of sense. It's just a nice little easy card, I like it. Um, oh no. All right, we kept such a bad hand. Uh, this was a mistake, everybody. This is a huge mistake. Um, we could have offered the trade here, uh, and I, I wonder if they'd have taken it. Um, I could see a world where they do just because the Clarion Spirits are pretty high value. Uh, but they didn't, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the good news here is, again, Skyclave Apparition, we've got three of them. They've got three permanents that we can target with them. Uh, so we can kind of have our choice of the lot here and, and just say, well, I'm going to take this one out uh, if we need to. Um, now, obviously... There's a lot of worry uh, because we're still not drawing lands, but it's fine. It's fine. I um, <laughs> think we might lose this one based on that, but that's cool. Sure. All right. Good play by the opponent. Going ahead and getting rid of a Clarion Spirit uh, definitely makes a lot of sense. And we'll see what they decide to do here. Uh, they are not attacking. Oh, my gosh. We're still going to get. <laughs> Let's offer the trade here. Uh, all right, they're going to take the two. That's fine. And then we'll just play another Clarion Spirit. <laughs> oh, no, guys. Bad keep on my end. Very bad keep. Um, that's OK. We're here to we're here to have fun and learn. Um, OK, so they are going to level this up here uh, whenever you attack put a one one. OK. They're going to fight off again. Sure. All of this is really scary, but again, if we just draw a land, we can apparition this and get it out of here. Uh, in which case, a lot of their deck seems to do nothing. Alternatively, we can just draw a paladin class. Oh, no. Just one land, please. It doesn't even have to. It could be any land. It could be any land at this point. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, well, it's getting worse, guys. We're we're getting a lot worse. We can't deal with that one. Um, yep. <laughs> Screw it. We're going to take it. Um, all right. Cool. We're so dead. There's nothing we can draw, I think, to get us out of this one. Um... Yep. All right. We're going to concede. Let's do one more game, guys. Uh, we've got a little extra time and these games go relatively fast. So let's see what we can do with one final game. All right, guys, here we are for our final one. Uh, and this is an easy keep. I mean, we've got some good stuff here. Definitely the kind of hand we want. Uh, we can get that chaplain down first and then the paladin class is going to make it even more difficult to deal with, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll see what the opponent wants to do. It looks like they're just going to play an Eye Witch here. That's fine. Um, 
I am going to run out the Paladin class. I'm going to try and hold off on the uh, adversary here. We do have four lands in hand, so we should be able to buff things up uh, very easily at some point here. Um, they obviously don't block with that Eye Witch. There's no reason to, unless they just really wanted the, the learn trigger, but I don't see why they would. Cool. Um, perfect. Easy target for the Skyclave Apparition. I am going to go ahead and throw that apparition out there um, just to get this off the, the field as early as we can. That's going to save us a lot of damage long term. What we could have done alternatively is Paladin class, um, which is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I think we just kind of wanted to focus on getting stuff off the field so they've got less that they can uh, capitalize on here. All right. They are going to get their little 2-2. That's fine. Um, also, my sound just cut out, but it looks like it's still coming through for you guys. That's really weird. Uh, all right. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to try and like overcapitalize on the adversary or just go for it? Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to Paladin class. We're going to try. We're going to go for that. Let's attack in here. Get two damage off. This does have first strike, so they're not really incentivized to block, uh, which is fine by me. Um, and now, again, if they want to deal with this, it does take a good bit of mana, uh, two extra mana, if they want to deal with it. So that's pretty good for us. All right, they're going to get an attack in here. Now, that is a bit scary because obviously that's a good bit of uh, damage here. But, um, hmm. All right, uh, at this point, what's the best option here? Huh. Uh, <laughs> I think it is going to be the adversary. We're going to auto pay this, uh, get a little bit of extra damage off here. Um, and yeah, we will attack in. This may not be the best play, but uh, I think this is okay. We do need to keep the, the pressure on as best we can. Um, they've got plenty of pressure on their end, so we are a little worried here, but I think that's just the best play that we can make here. Uh, there's the Orin Reef Ooze. Very, very good card, being able to throw some counters around here. Now, they didn't play anything that would deal with the adversary, which is pretty important for us. Uh, curious to see what they throw it on. Okay. Um, I'm going to say no blocks. Reason being, what we can do is just attack in with the adversary uh, with double strike here if we'd like to, uh, which we would. Um, and that's going to gain us a lot more life back. Um, so let's do this. this is going to gain us a lot of life back. 12 life, in fact. Um, this does. This is a lethal attack as well, so they do have to block something. Um, or they just, I guess, die. All right, cool. We did it. Uh, four out of five games, guys. That's not bad. Uh, let's chat about this list for a second. All right, so mono white aggro showing up pretty strong. Uh, again, four out of five wins, that's pretty solid. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Four and one is a decent record for a, a deck like this. I think on the best of one ladder, mono white aggro to nobody's surprise is gonna be pretty good. Oh, the the audio just like kind of came through. That was weird. Um, we, uh, we know that mono white aggro is good. We've seen it on the ladder for a while now. It got possibly even better, I would say, uh, with this new rotation with Innistrad in. There's a lot of good cards. The adversary is oh, just amazing. Uh, the chaplain's really good. There's a lot of great cards here. So uh, really happy to play this one. I really enjoyed it. If, uh, if you are looking to just ladder grind, especially in best of one, this is a great option for you. Please do keep in mind, again, there are a lot of different builds with Mono White. Some of them capitalize a lot more on the second spell each turn kind of deal. Uh, some of them don't run some of the top end that we played. So there are some different uh, ways you can build this deck and still make it very, very good and very, very aggressive. So uh, do check out a few different lists. This is just the one that I really kind of caught my eye. So regardless, I enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you were not already. And again, guys, we'll have some more gameplay for you very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a fantastic Thursday.